Hi you, and welcome to another version of Minecraft 101, which is admittedly all I'm qualified to teach, and I found out just how much I have to learn in this game this afternoon, and I'll be telling you about that as we go. Now, it is daylight. The sun was just coming up here as I was starting the game. Um, so I think, you know, we've got some things to talk about in terms of, you know, tools and beds and spawning places and this and that and the other thing. And you know what? Back it up. Let's make a sword because we need to find some iron. That's the next thing I want to go looking for. And that can be a, that's going to be underground. It's going to be in scary places. And, um, yeah, I want a sword. Whoops, wrong way. So with a sword, you've got, you know, the short handle and stone is the best I can do at the moment so I'm going to make a stone sword. I mentioned last time how you can you know when you're putting things in here you put in a block and you get a button and you can use buttons for decorations for things to press that are automated later and if any of you saw the um, the April Fool's joke that that Briarstone pulled on me in my world you can see how important a button can be um, and as you move things around just watch what happens over here all the time because I have made frames by mistake I made my first fence just doing this I didn't have a clue what I was doing I started putting stuff down and poof all of a sudden I had something I went like this these are great trap doors they can be used as trap doors but they're really nice decorative items and maybe I'll show you that in a little bit but for right now we can't spend too much time in here I want to go out and see if we can possibly find some iron today. I'm going to close the door behind me, keep our little hole safe, so in case I come back too late. Now, we're kind of partway underground. Mushrooms are growing here. So that's telling me it's never all oh, that bright in here. And I found iron. That is called luck. <laughs> um, back here, it's dark. Dark can be always scary, even during the daytime. You can have nice creepy crawlies come up behind you. So I'm going to put a couple of torches down and um, face that way a lot. Because, <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> now, i got to tell you guys, I was recording last, not recording last night. I was playing Minecraft last night. I was really tired. I, uh, I started getting a headache last night, and I, I just don't ever get headaches, so... It was a little disconcerting, and it got worse and worse and worse, and I, I woke up with one as well this morning, and I slept really, really incredibly late. Ooh, see, when you're going in these places, you got to watch for stuff like this. I almost fell in that hole, and you never know what's down there waiting on you to greet you with happy, you know, cheerful thoughts and stuff. So there's some more over there. Now, see, if I jump down here, or you know fall down here this can be a really bad thing uh, wrong one let's take my sword and wreck it I don't like being down in the dark without a nice handy way out so ooh, there's all kinds of things going on here that I just assume not have happened I'm going to use what have I got I got a little bit of stone I'll use what I have you know what and there's things that can come at you from so many places and I have the sound off right now which is making me a little more nervous than I might be normally. Oh, anyway, I told you I was in here last night and I had a headache and I thought, well, I just, um, I'm not, I can't record. I'm just way too tired. See, I just saw the ore again and saw something different and jumped. <laughs> Cause that's the kind of thing that happens underground. Okay. I want to always make sure I know how I'm getting out. And I'm going to make a better set of steps here so it's very easy to have a bolt hole should I figure out that I need one. Now we've got some nice iron up here. And there's more in there. Ha ha ha. But how far do you want to go? Okay, so you know what? That'll probably be not a, too bad a start. Let's go back over here because this is easy to reach and maybe we'll get lucky and there'll be, you know, a lot of it behind this. <clears throat> and you can always use more, more cobblestone. Um, 
So the first day I look for iron, the second day I make an active attempt to get some iron. I know, what did I just say? The first day I look for coal, and the second day I, I look hard to get iron. Now what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna grab some of this. This is gravel. You get flint out of it, which I rarely use, to be honest, but um, I'm just going to use this as something to build on. And f gravel reminds me of something. You'll have noticed blocks don't always follow any sort of, you know, sane gravity in this thing. If you've played it at all, you may have noticed things just floating in midair, and lots of interesting things can happen. But there are a couple of kinds of blocks that follow gravity really, really well. <laughs> now, see, I'm directly under this. This is a really stupid thing to do, because I have had times where lava, water, water can just come down and wash you right the heck away sometimes right into a pit of lava, which has actually happened to me. Um, so gravel and sand will fall. Watch this. If I take out this middle one, that one will fall. If I take out this block in the underneath here, that's not going to fall. I can clean out this space all the way around this block, and it's just going to stay there. It's not going anywhere at all. Which is a little odd, but it allows for certain, you know, building mechanics to work, okay. But gravel and sand is not going to do that, and they can kill you. So this, this is just going to hang there in midair, looking interesting. This won't do that. Sand won't do that. When you dig up like this, yes, lava can come down, water can come down, but gravel can be under there too, and if it hits you hard enough, you're dead. Just one of the many fun ways to die in Minecraft. Ooh. Darkness. So it is also easy to get lost in these places. Keep that in mind. Sometimes when you find just a single piece of ore like that, it's, you know, if you don't want to go exploring too far your first time, you don't have any armor yet, we don't have, you know, great weaponry or anything like that. Um, sometimes it's worth digging around the area where you found some. It looks like there's just one, but you go off at some, you know, angled block and all of a sudden there's a whole bunch of ore behind it. So it's not, it doesn't hurt to check. Ooh, we got more goodies down here. And these are, you know, it, the first little while in this game, you're just gathering resources so you can start making choices. Um, I usually spend a few days actually gathering up some stuff, getting some decent tools, make some armor, get some food. And that's another thing I'm going to have to get out here and do really, really quick is go check on, you know, seeds and that and get some bread baked here as soon as I can. With the iron, we can make a better sword always important. <clears throat> we can um, make shears, we can get wool and make a bed, and beds are going to be important if you decide to start traveling. Now if you love the area you've just spawned in, build there. I Actually the Enderman Keep is built around my spawning point, although admittedly that was by accident, that wasn't planned that way. I had left, traveled far and wide, went all sorts of places, and ended up finding that lovely hill and coming back and building there and then finding the spawning point and going, oh my goodness, who knew? Kind of cool. Okay, so there's lots going on in here with coal. This is just lovely. But it's getting kind of dark and creepy too. And there's more over there. Wow, no kidding. This is nice. I'm going to grab this last couple, little piece here and I'm going up top. Uh, we know it's here. We know he's come back. Oops. <clears throat> oh, using my sword again. See, using the mouse wheel to kind of roll between your inventory items is so quick and awesome, but you need good aim, and I often just end up using the... Uh, 
the mouse, like my, my number keys, just hit one, two, three, four, five, whatever to, and it corresponds with the, the inventory items on the bottom there because it's just easier for me. I can get it right the first time. Well, not always. But yeah, okay, so let's get out of here before I get myself lost, which I, you know, might be too late. I may already be going in the wrong direction. Did I come up this way or that way? I don't even know. <clears throat> and it's not that way. You need to pay attention in these places. I usually pay a lot more attention in this, and I, you know, know where I'm going and why I'm going, and, uh, you know, oh, here, right here. There's steps I put in. Ooh, is it dark outside already? Oh, we're doomed. <laughs> Okay, don't we live like right nearby here though? Yes. So I didn't get to gather grass today. Now you'll notice down here in the bottom, you know, my food, my those little drumsticks are how hungry I am. And I'm still fine. The game is very forgiving if you're not doing too much. Um, it gets worse later, I think. But... <clears throat> I'm not hungry yet, and that's okay. I have time for the grass to grow, and but I really needed to get more in here so that I could have an entire garden. Uh, otherwise, you know, you can die of starvation. I went exploring once before I had um, actually built any, you know, particular house of any anywhere. I just had a, a spot, something like this, a little bolt hole. And I had brought a little food, but wasn't really paying attention to my food levels and I got lost. And there are ways to find your way in this game. And you'll notice um, the little map in my upper right hand corner here that allows me a great deal more freedom than I used to have in this game, I'll tell you. But at the time, I didn't know this. I didn't have anything, you know, added to the game. Um, and I was lost and I, I really didn't I, I kind of knew where I was, but had gone too far, I guess, is more the truth. And I got hungry. And, you know, I had this thing where I had decided this, this character wasn't going to kill anything. And that, that had been a choice I made. I thought, well, let's just try it a different way. I know everybody does that. That's the first thing they do is they go out and kill pigs and cows for food. And as I said last time about sheep, sheep don't give you food. Sheep give you wool. My mistake. Well, it wasn't a mistake. I just wasn't wasn't paying attention. <clears throat> I misspoke. I knew better. I just didn't say it right. But um, I was rushing for home. Once I realized where I was, I kind of went, oh yeah, I can do this. I can get home. And, and I was going as fast as I could. And I started taking damage. The little hearts on the left-hand side there above, you know, next to the little drumsticks, that's your health. And I was taking damage because I was starving to death. <laughs> and by the time I got back to the house or my place with food in it, I had like a heart and a half left. <laughs> I was running as fast as I could, let me tell you. Okay, so we need more tools. So while we're waiting for morning to come, what have we got to work with? We have a lot of coal now and that's awesome because coal is what we will be putting in our furnace to run it. We can't just, you know, it's not just gonna go all by itself. So if we ever get some wheat, that's where we're going to um, cook it. You know, we're, we're gonna, no, that's not true, not wheat. There are some things you have to cook, but this is what I wanna do right now. I wanna put iron in here because this is just a raw ore and I wanna get a nice block of iron so that I can build something. Now, when I first started this game, I didn't know that you can just walk away. <gasps> There's something out there that wants to hurt me. Woof, is it just a wolf? Cool. Um, I didn't know I could do that. So I'd have this open and I'd wait. <laughs> I mean, when you're crafting and you close the door, if there's anything left in there, it just falls out. Maybe I'll show you that. You know, if you get too, too much going on and, you know, you put something in here and you just walk away, it just throws it out, right? And that had happened to me already. And um, I didn't know, but you can. 
You can put stuff in your furnace and you can just let it cook. That is so cool. <laughs> and I found it the first time completely by accident. I just, I didn't have a clue. <clears throat> so I'm going to go to the crafting table here. Actually, you know what? How much iron did I get? Not a lot. See, iron can be made into better swords, which is important if, if you have any hope, you know, or interest in going out at night or, you know, you're getting too far away from home and you're trying to build a shelter and, and the sun's going down. You want a good sword. And even during the day, there can be, there can be the odd thing um, that happens that makes you need a sword, even if you're in a really safe place. For instance, I was telling you, and I get sidetracked all the time because I'm trying to do the game and then we're chatting, but... Uh, last night I was playing, had a headache, but I was playing, so I wasn't recording. So I went into the stud farm, and I, um, <coughs> excuse me, I don't know where I quit recording that for you, but I, I worked on the roof and started working, you know, along the, the back wall of what's going to be the, the courtyard there in the back. And I, I built a little breeding stall, and I built sort of a, a shed lean-to type thing for you know the farm store stuff in and I built a blacksmith shop and everything was going really well and there was a spider that had moved up on the roof it had spawned up there one night and um, it, because I I was working undercover it didn't see me at any point during the night so I never aggroed it and um, things were going well during the day of course it was fine so it lived up there for a few days of game time and then apparently when I put the black the, the blacksmith shop in, I set fire to my roof and I, I didn't even clue in for a while. And I'm working away and all of a sudden the spider attacks me. I thought, it's the middle of the afternoon. How can this happen? What, what happened? So I run out to the yard and I turn around and I'm fighting the spider and I look up and my whole roof is on fire and most of it's gone. And I just made a big old mess of things. So then I spent the you know a while fixing that because it seemed important to do that, and um, and then a creeper came along, and blew up the blacksmith shop again. <laughs> so I had, a, I had a good night. I had a really good night. So the moral of that story is, is you never know when you need a good sword. <laughs> So keep one handy. Now we have a stone one, and you know at this level, I'm I'm not going to worry about it too much. It's probably just fine. I use just stone ones for a very very long time in game, but you can make a nice sword one, or an iron one, which is a lot prettier. That's much nicer, and you can do some other awesome things with iron. And we don't really have enough to do a lot, but if you play around with this that would be a helmet so you can start being a lot tougher if you want to be out exploring at night um, and ha the ways I learned to make the armor I will be honest was just playing around move oops um, there I has boots boots are good I know there's a way to make pants oh I can make an iron fence that's good I don't remember even how to make um, some of the armor I'll be honest I have a lot of it made that I've so sort of stored up and yeah. Anyway, you have to play around with that because I can't remember how to do them. <laughs> now you can also make things like where are we here? Okay, well there. See, you gotta watch what you're doing. You get different things. Who knows what they're going to be? What's it trying to do? Um just the two? Okay. Makes shears. I haven't made these in a while either. Shears are kind of handy, especially if you don't want to kill a sheep. Because with shears, I can run around and shear some sheep and get some wool. And quite frankly, if you're going for wool, you're better off to use some iron, make your shears, and use those on the sheep. Because you will get one to three per sheep, and you only get one if you kill it. So it's actually more efficient. Isn't that awesome? It's more efficient to be kind. So that's very cool. So I still get the stone. I'm just going to keep that. Now I'm going to grab these shears. And I'm going to go ahead and do a couple of things with uh, here. I'm going to look for more seeds so I can plant some food. And you know what? Before I go any further, I'm going to do some more torches. So, so I can have a bit of a trail behind me because I want to be able to find my home here again and always remember to close the door behind you. 
I have walked in and had moms waiting on me. I woke up once with a creeper looking at me. I apparently didn't have enough light kicking around, so take that one down and put it up top. And I do I want this lit up. I want to be able to see where I am. I'm going to put a few more out here so I can see it in case it gets dark and I'm heading this way. And there we go. All right, there's some wolves. That's cool. Sheep. Where are we going to find sheep? See, I haven't explored this at all. I have no idea what's coming. This is a relatively flat place. I'm not seeing any obvious hill to climb up on. There's a pig. That's good. Now, see, I'm doing it. I'm just running off because in my world, I know my way around. <laughs> I've gotten pretty good at getting around in my world. Here, whoops, I only want the one. I'm going to leave a few torches behind me so I can find my way home. And sometimes it's a lot easier to find your way home at night, oddly enough. Well, not oddly enough, because you've got all this light. Oh good, a hill. Let me get up here and see what we can see. That's a pretty hill. That's lovely. <laughs> so now there like I said, there are other ways to navigate in this game, but you you know, if you're just started, you're not gonna have those and so why should we talk about that? Where might I find sheep? It would be really nice if we could just find one right off. But we gotta get out of this snow. And I'm not seeing anything nearby in this direction that looks like there's going to get us out of the snow. So let's go in the other direction. <clears throat> now quite frankly, I probably should pick those up. Because I don't have, you know, well I guess we got plenty of coal, we're okay. <clears throat> And let's go off that way, oops, without falling into the hole and dying. You can fall and die too, as you know if you've watched any of my videos. <laughs> Man, there's so many ways to die in this game that are interesting. I almost starved to death that once, not paying any attention. Um, ooh, clay. Um, I have fallen into lava. I've had water push me into lava. Uh oh. That is a polar bear. That is a Mo Creatures edition. And they do attack. As I have learned. So I'm going to go over this way. I'm putting one relatively close so I know that I've made a turn here. Hello, bear. And we're going straight from snow to desert. That's not going to bode well for sheep. Oh, I got some sheep. Hello, little one. yoo -hoo. And if you right click, and then you have to run around and pick it up, and you leave a little naked sheep. <laughs> but he's cute. So where there's one, there should be more. Now, at this point, you can get all excited and you think, well, I'm just right here on this ridge. I'll be able to find my way out. And you go further than you think you did, and you get lost in the trees, and you have an exciting night. I want more sheeps. There's jungle up ahead, and you can tell that because you get the vines coming down off the trees. Well, I did get three, didn't I? Did I get three? I did. I got three wool, and that is actually going to be enough to show you what I wanted to show you. So, there's my bear. <clears throat> well, we got the one. You know, that's cool. Let's not be greedy. I'm going to leave the torches, because every time I go out, you go a little further, and you explore a little more. And uh, once I've reached the point where I, I've got some food, and I've got some tools, and... I'll have a stockpile of, of building material and then I just start running around to try to find where I want to be. And I will build little tiny shelters like we did the first night. <clears throat> oh yes, I want some grass. And I'll have a nice stockpile of food with me and um, 
And then it, I, I, using the bed, you can reset your spawn point, which I will show you in just a moment. <clears throat> and um, then you can just go wherever you want. There's no such thing as being lost because home is where your bed is. And am I getting any seeds? I got two. And this is what, one of the ways you can get lost, too. You know, you just get going like this. You think you're not going all that far. And then you kind of look up and you go, uh, which way do I go? Or at least I can. I have a good sense of direction in real life. And I'm getting a lot better in this game. But I found when I first started it, I was, you know, it's a lot of the same kind of thing everywhere. And it was a little tricky getting around. And I thought, I can use the sun. It goes up, you know, it comes up in the east. It goes down in the west. That's awesome. I understand that. It doesn't work as well as it sounds, unfortunately. And you can see I'm just I'm using my torch. It doesn't matter. I'm just hitting stuff. I'm just trying to get seeds. So as long as I smash it, it doesn't matter. I can do it barehanded. <clears throat> and I have... Have three. Where's the sun? Oh, we got lots of time. Okay, we'll just mow some lawn here in the our area of home. So yeah, Quill's going off to Sweden next week. That is, that is so cool. A gaming company has called him for an exclusive. Now he did an interview as well recently. I don't know if you guys knew that. But uh, if you go, if you haven't, go check out his channel because he got to interview some people, gaming people, and um, you know they were announced talking about him on their live stream, and it's happening for him. Three years of seriously hard work, creating endless recordings, and being tired at night, and just doing it anyway. And I, man, I have admired so much the work he's done, and now it's paying off. I mean, I don't know. I, I know some people said, ah, you know, getting paid for playing games, that's just, you know, blah, blah, blah. Considering the amount of work the guys do who are making a living at this, I, and for how long they have to do it for free, I mean, they, they're doing it for years before it makes any kind of difference at all. There's that lovely clay. And there are things you can do with clay, this, this stuff right here. You know what? We got a little time. Let's just dig some up because then we'll have it if we want it. Sand, gravel, dirt, you get them up fastest using a shovel. Um, clay, you know what? I think with this too. Clay's another one of those things like dirt. I just have to use whatever I've got on hand. <laughs> and see, I'll take the clay out and the sand falls down. Now the water in a lot of places will have a current which can carry you off and make it very hard to get out. Using your space button will let you jump. That's kind of something you'll want to pay attention to. Because <clears throat> um, there will be times when you need to jump a lot. Okay, so I have nine seeds now. But do I have any dirt to plant them in? Not enough. I have nothing. Two. Two is not enough for a garden. So let me get reoriented here. Where is home? Home is down that hole, and while we are getting reoriented, let's clean up our entrance a little bit and make it, you know, more of an entrance. I'm going to take that down, and I need some dirt, so let's just clean up right here to home. And for the first few days in here, like I said, this is this is all I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be, you know, gathering resources when my inventory is nice and filled with lots of goodies and I've got you know several stacks of stone I've got some dirt in case I need it because you will be using things you might not even think of at first um, then I go exploring and when I find that spot that makes me go <gasps> then you stop and you start to make a home and it's fun and then you burn it down because you can do that. Pretty easy. <laughs> um, whoops. Okay, I want to... Do I have time? Well, it's getting kind of dark. I was thinking... Oops. Gets rid of the snow first. 
see about clearing out a bit of a stairway here as well. Just making it easier to get in and out of here, you know, for me and the mobs too, apparently. Oh well. And my shovel has broken, but it's dirt. I can just smack it with my hands. So we've opened things up a little bit. We can add another torch or two. You know, having some light around you is never a bad idea because then the mobs don't spawn as close as they would normally. And then they're less likely to find you in the middle of the night and come and visit. And you, although, you know what? You have not experienced Minecraft until you've had a bunch of zombies banging on your door at night. I have to admit, it's kind of awesome. And look, I have wheat growing. Look at there. So I'm going to just clear this space out. Now, sometimes with these little shelters like this, and, and of course this has got a little bit bigger, but if you don't have a door, or even if you do have a door, you know, you can put like a, a wall here so that you live behind it and you, you know, you come around the corner like that. So again, mobs are a lot less likely to see you. Let's go ahead and put the door up. And back here, <coughs> or along here, We'll put down some dirt and we'll start a little farm. Whoops, too many. And get our dirt down here. We're going to want some seeds. Now I'll need the hoe too. So I'm just doing the, the, the gardening here first because, you know, the more time it has to grow, the better. going to put torches all along here. Light this sucker up. Need the hoe. And you right click to make that work, not left as I just tried the first time. And then right click to plant the seeds. And we'll be able to make bread in a day or so. That'll be so exciting. Now, right here beside the garden, I'm going to come over here. Now, with the wood, is it this kind of wood? Oh, let's hope it's not a tree, because I don't remember. That makes a bed, and a bed, like a door, is your friend. <laughs> now, with the bed, I can place... There's, there's a couple of different things that are kind of exciting with the beds. No comments. Um, you put the bed down. Now, it is dark. And if I don't want to be in here all night, I really don't have any chores to do. Watching seeds grow is not the most exciting thing I can do all day. I right click. And if there are no mobs nearby, I can go to sleep. If you have a monster that you've attracted that is banging on your door, that's not going to work. Okay, it says, nope, they're too close. It figures you should be awake, taking care of things. Now that's one thing you can do with the bed. The night is gone. You just go back out in the daytime and continue on. And that's a really nice way to, you know, if you're farming outside or you've got a lot of things to do outside, you're building something, you can just miss that whole night cycle and move on from there. Another great thing about the bed is I'm going to tear this little sucker up, walk over and pick it up. When I decide to go exploring now, I get to take my bed with me. And wherever I sleep, that has become my spawning point. So if you're, you know, the area you're in is just not the one making you happy, you can just wander anywhere you want, put your bed down, sleep there, and then if you go out during the day and you come back too late at night and, you know, you get blowed up by creepers, then you'll just spawn wherever that bed was last. So it's a really nice way to just travel through the world until you find that one place that you just can't live without. <clears throat> so um, food, you want to bring a lot of food with you. The shears... Great choice for you know getting a bed real early and you can go out and kill the sheep too But you're gonna have to kill three of them to get the three and as you noticed It's pretty easy to get three with with the shears. So I'm gonna just put something. You know what? I'm just gonna call it quits. I think you've had enough of this for a while. I Hope to play some Sin City tonight. We're gonna see how that goes, but wish me luck 
So run over to Quill's channel, congratulate him on going to Sweden. I'm sure he's going to have lots of good news. They're going to be letting him, um, I think, record some of the, the new game that's coming while he's there. So then he'll be able to share it with all of us, and that'll be fun times. So Minecraft, there it was. I hope I helped a little bit for some people. I'm sure there's going to be a lot of things I, I left out. Um, there always are. <laughs> And I'll see you again soon. So until I do, please remember to hit the like button, okay? And um, hit the subscribe button if you haven't yet. Leave your comments. Thank you very much for being in my life. Bye-bye. Oh, no, no, no. Live your life happy <laughs> and build it beautiful. Okay, still a little bit of a headache, but bye-bye.